a lot of people have been telling me to check this game out, so we're finally gonna do it today. Welcome to my first impressions of Solo Leveling Arise, the newest big uh, gacha slash mobile game from Netmarble based on the Korean sensation Solo Leveling, which uh, was recently turned into an anime. And I do have some personal experience with the series. I'm not completely finished yet, but I'm pretty close. I think I'm on chapter 150 out of like 200, 220, something like that. So I'll probably finish the series sometime this month. And uh, I'm excited to see what all the hype around this game is about. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now, one thing I've noticed is that um, even the title screen is pretty laggy, which is, is okay because this is a beta and the global release is sometime in May. I think it's May 8th. So if you guys can't get it in your country right now, like in the US or somewhere in Asia, um, that's normal. that connect our world to the other dimension are called gates. Beyond these gates are dungeons where evil creatures lurk. The awakened beings who hunt down these creatures are called hunters. Okay, this opening animation looks pretty promising. Hey, Sung, thanks for coming. Of course. Looking forward to it as always. Sup, Sung? Hey, how are ya? Who's that? Everyone's so happy to see him. <laughs> well, his nickname is... The weakest hunter of all mankind. He's probably the weakest of us all. I'm Sung Chino, E-Rank. I'm embarrassed to call myself a hunter. People call me the weakest hunter of all mankind. Not for long. So we're starting the tutorial now, but that opening cutscene slash intro was really nice. You can tell this is gonna be a highly polished game. The main question is, is it any fun? Let's find out. Use the virtual D-pad to move. All right. Oh, it feels very, feels very smooth. And I don't believe I have it set at the high settings either. This is on high. You can set it to very high, but I was a bit concerned for the purpose of this video that it was gonna lag. So, so far so good. Uh, while moving, tap the dash button to move quickly. Ooh, okay, yeah, this feels very smooth. I need to get rid of them to get past. Tap the basic attack button to attack the enemy. All right. I'm feeling pretty good today. Tap the target button to look at nearby enemies or your destination. Ah, okay. What the? That came out of nowhere. You know, honestly, I don't remember him fighting lizard men this early in the series, but <laughs> not a big deal. Tap the basic skill button to attack the enemy. Okay, basic skill. Ooh. We have two different attacks right now. They each have a cooldown. Uh, tap the hunter icon to activate Lee Jun He's support skill. You're hurt again, Jinu. I'll treat you. Thank you, Jui. Yo, this is really cool, guys. I didn't know what to expect because I didn't see any like gameplay before I started this video, but this is like beyond any expectations I could have had. different from the others it's so okay, strong let's just oh let's target and then just dash around for a bit see what he does tap the hunter icon to activate song chi yules song chi yules support skill so watch out. thank you oh it's like a fire board oh he just killed it okay <laughs> i thought he was gonna help i didn't know he was just gonna solo the guy I don't 
think I've ever seen a door before? <sighs> Let's go in. Man, this is crazy. I feel like I'm playing a console game right now. The torch is little. Nice. Like I know Netmarble is a big company. I know they have a big budget, but still, we've come a long way, guys. Mobile games have come a really, really long way. It's impressive. There it is. A creepy ass face. Over here. Okay, so no blood. Oh, uh, oh, never mind. There is blood. Because I wasn't sure how gory they were gonna get. Because this franchise, so this series, does get like leave this place. um pretty <laughs> graphic. I'm sorry. These cutscenes look so good. Okay, so they're not holding back. They're they're not holding back. <laughs> I thought they would censor it a little bit because maybe, you know, kids would be playing and stuff, but no, nah, they're like, we're gonna go there. We're gonna go there. Um, except, except, yes, okay. I wasn't sure if that was just part of the cutscene or if I had to click accept, but I, I just did it anyways. Uh, okay, so now we have to do the One Punch Man um, workout. 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and 10k run. It looks like the goal is just to avoid being hit for 30 seconds. Survive for the allotted amount of time? Dodge their attacks? Damn it! How long do I have to run? How does it expect me to get out of here alive? Oh shoot, okay. Penalty quest? Is this a joke? Equipping a Sung Jin Wu weapon. Sun Jin Wu basic and core attacks will change based on his equipped weapon. Cool. Each spiritual weapon allows Jin Wu to use a different unique skill. Maybe instead of summoning for characters in this game, we're summoning for weapons? No way. Is it... is it sealed? Am I in a different dimension? This is not a regular dungeon, huh? All right, I take back what I said before. The CGI cutscenes are just as nice as the panel ones. It's just all quality, man. Select control type. Hmm. It looks like B might be better just because the icons are closer together. I don't have to like move my fingers as much to uh, access them. So yeah, let's go with B. Tap the weapon skill button to use the skill. Oh. So that's the special ability of our new weapon. Damn it! I can't believe this starving dog is strong. And we can use it again. Get out of my way! When the QTE button activates, tap it to use a powerful QTE skill. I won't lose. What does QTE stand for? It's the QTE button. Okay, I'm gonna take it off auto just because it's more fun that way. And let's just do a little manual control here. Okay, 
You know what this reminds me of, actually? It reminds me of that My Hero game. Uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, My Hero, My Hero Strongest Hero or something like that. That game I played for a couple days. It was it was fun. That, that was a fun game, but just never really got into it. This one I feel like has a little bit more potential just because it feels, it feels more polished, I guess. We'll see. It's still early on. I can't say for sure if it's a long-term thing for me, but... It's got a lot of promise, guys. It's got a lot of promise. Distribute stat points to different stats to improve different aspects of Jinwoo's combat performance. Okay, so we're gonna add strength, just like in the show. Use two extreme evasions or more times. So I kind of missed that part of the tutorial, but I believe extreme evasion is just like a last minute evasion, right? Ah, nice. Swords no match. How do I pierce through these scales? Oh man, that was a big leg. If it wasn't for the leg, I feel like this would have been a really dope cutscene, but it is what it is. <laughs> Game's still in beta, I'm sure they'll fix this. <sighs> this, this is what we want. Draw. Confirm. Let's go. Hello, I'm Im ha Jin, the new hire. We're rolling out a brand new app for Hunter registration. Have you heard about it? Is this girl voiced by the same voice actress that did, um... Oh, what's her name? You know that little fairy girl from Genshin Impact? Uh, damn, what's her name? Paimon. Paimon. She sounds like Paimon. Okay, we've got a purple one. Starting with an R sword. A R bow. Another sword. Ooh, a dagger this time. An axe or hatchet. Another hatchet. Another hatchet. <laughs> Another dagger. Will you join me? Ah, and we got Song Chi Yule. And another sword. And that's it, okay. All right, I guess we have to go back to the story. I was really hoping to do some more summons, but I guess we can't. Ah, okay, now we can add Mr. Song Chi Yule to our party, form team. And we're still gonna mainly be um, controlling uh, Song Jin Wu, the main character, right? But we can use the support characters for like special attacks. Please evacuate quickly. Their attacks aren't coordinated. Huh? I got this. If I can just break down his defenses, it's possible. I just need one good hit to crack this stupid rock. Okay, so now he's broken. He's going to be stunned for a bit, and we can do extra damage. Get out of my way! Nice! I've got this! Get out of my way! It all depends on me! Nice! Get out of 
So it's not all the cutscenes that are super laggy. It was just that first one against the Kasaka. This one looked fine. New feature unlocked. Assassin job change. Ooh. Tap the button to proceed with the job change. That's interesting. And it's a test. So you have to clear a stage to change your job. This kind of reminds me of... Um, I'm not sure how many of you have played it before. But uh, Maple Story, you know, when you get to like a certain level, you can change your job or rank up. So if you're like a mage, you can become like an ice age or a bishop, or sorry, a cleric, um, fire mage, so on and so forth. A thief can become a bandit or uh, an assassin, like we're trying to become right now. That's dope. Man, Maple Story was so good. That was like my entire childhood. That was like the main thing I feel like that got me into gaming. So, yeah, shout out Maple Story. <laughs> I know, super random, but yeah. Okay, yo, I'm getting destroyed. Holy crap. Oh my god. We gotta focus, we gotta focus. I got this. No! Yes. Yo, this is crazy. Oh, you know what? I forgot to increase my, my stats. So that's probably why I'm getting owned. It's not because I'm bad. It's not because of my skills. It's because my character's under level, clearly. But it's okay. We're not gonna get hit again, so it's, 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 it's all good. Oh, oh my god. Oh, you can't die. <laughs> yeah, no, my HP stuck at 121. So I should have died by now. But they're like, nah, bro, you're supposed to clear at this stage. It shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> Anyways, we got it done. I'm gonna count this as my win. Dope. Okay, we're an assassin now. Um, we got a new costume. Got some new skills. Damn. Please recruit a strike squad. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this man just became a completely different person. I know that's how it goes in the show, but it's still, it's still kind of funny. When extreme evasion activates, you can use Shadow Step, a new QTE skill. When Shadow Step hits, it slows the enemy and decreases the enemy's defense for a set period of time. To the front. Too slow. Time for a ah. That was dope. That was dope. Take this. Oh my god. It's no use. An opening. This is the end. You can't avoid it. Take this. This is the end. To the front. Too slow. An opening. I've got your back. Yeah. You're an unworthy opponent. <laughs> huh. Okay, so for this one, we don't bring Sunjin Wu, we just use our supports. Can we actually play as them, though? I'll just get along now. Oh. Tap the hunter button to change to the desired hunter and proceed with the battle. Let's try this. Yeah, I was not expecting this. I thought we just had to play a Sunjin with the whole time and then, you know, the supports are just there for 
their support attacks, but no. This is awesome. <laughs> Wait, is she a range character? Let me try, let me try. Let's, let's go over here. Not a chance. Okay, so no, she's not ranged, still melee. Wait, this guy a range character? Is it like a fireball he shot? Oh, kind of. Wait, hold on, let me try again. Okay, he's got like a range component to his attack, but it's not like fully ranged. Like, the fireball is part of his attack animation, or his attack, um, string, I guess, but he doesn't, like, fully have range attacks. Either way, that was really, really dope. I didn't know we could play as them. <laughs> I thought it was just the one character, and that was it. Oh, she's cute. Who that? Oh my, great timing. I was actually looking for you. Sjorin. I'm Sorin of the Hunters oh, Sorin. Association. Sorin. You've met Hatin, right? <sighs> All right. I feel like that is a good place to call it. Uh, I've been playing this game for about an hour at this point, so I think I have a pretty good idea of what it's about. And for my first impressions, I'll say that it's a really good game. It's a lot of fun, especially the combat. Um, the cutscenes, both the CGI and panel ones, look amazing. Great voice acting. As far as mobile games go, this is about as high quality as you're going to get, which is to be expected with a net marble game, right? And uh, I definitely see myself playing it for the next while. Uh, not sure how long it's going to be able to like keep me engaged, but definitely for a couple of weeks at the very least. Maybe I'll do some follow-up videos or gameplay slash summoning videos, depending on how much I'm enjoying it. And uh, if you guys are curious about this game at all, if uh, watching this video has piqued your interest, then definitely check it out when it drops next month. I believe the global release date is May 8th. I could be wrong, but it's around there. So uh, yeah, give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think about it. And uh, that's all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.